This video explains how to force the axis of a ggplot2 plot to be square shaped using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So after running this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data frame a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see our data frame contains 6 rows and 2 columns which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geonpoint. So in this case, I'm creating a scatterplot. And I'm storing this scatterplot in a new data object that I'm calling ggp. So if you run lines 8 and 9 of the code, a new plot object is appearing at the top right, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a plot which contains our data points. And you can also see that at this point, this plot or the axis of this plot are not square shaped yet. So if we want to square shape the axis of our plot, we can use the theme function, as you can see in lines 12 and 13 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm first specifying the name of our plot object that we have created before. And then I'm adding to this the theme function. And within the theme function, I'm specifying the aspect ratio to be equal to 1. So if you run lines 12 and 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom right, that the aspect ratio of our plot is changed and this time our plot is shown in a square shaped design. You can also see that the axis values on the x and y axis are still different because the x axis is ranging from 1 to 6 and the y axis is ranging from 1 to 3. So even though the plot is square shaped the axis values on the x and y axis are still different. However, we could also create a square shaped plot by harmonizing these axis values, as you can see in the next example, in lines 15 to 19 of the code. So once again, I'm using the ggp plot object that I have created in the beginning of this tutorial. And then I'm adding to this the xlim function. And within this function, I'm specifying that I want to range the x-axis from the minimum value in our data to the maximum value in our data. And then I'm doing the same for the y-axis. So after running lines 15 to 19 of the code, you can see that another plot is created. So the design of this plot is not square shaped anymore. However, the axis values of this plot have been harmonized. So if you export this plot, then the axis should be square shaped as well. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.